The ability to use language is often described as the cognitive ability which sets humans apart from other animals. However, understanding the language-related abilities of other species may give us an insight into the evolutionary processes that led to the emergence of the human language. Language studies on non-human animals typically involve only one or two subjects. Considering the prevalence of dogs in human households, it is surprising that studies on dogs' ability to learn object names also suffer from such restrictions. The limitations of the literature on this topic raises two questions. Are these dogs representatives of the population? Or are they exceptionally talented individuals? Could it be that intensive training at an early age affects the ability to learn that objects can have names? In order to answer these questions, we trained for three consecutive months, 15 puppies and 19 naive adult dogs to learn the names of two toys and retrieve them on command. At the same time, through social media, we searched around the world for dogs with an extensive vocabulary knowledge of toy names. Over a period of two years, we received messages from many owners, but in controlled tests, only six dogs proved to really know the names of objects. These word knowledgeable dogs all knew the names of more than 15 toys. In order to compare the dog's performance during three months, the owners and their dogs participated in weekly training sessions with a dog trainer. In the sessions, owners were instructed to play with their dogs while repeating the toy names. Whenever the dog retrieved the named object, it would be rewarded with praise, play and food. The owners continued the training at home on a daily basis. When the owner and trainer estimated that the dog learned the name of a toy, the owner would add a new toy. This training method was devised based on interviews with owners of word knowledgeable dogs and was designed to be as similar as possible to the process by which those dogs have learned the names of new objects. This method is also similar to most of the reports in the literature. To compare the learning rates of the puppies, adults and word knowledgeable dogs, we conducted a test once a month over the three months of training period. In the tests, the owners asked the dogs to retrieve a toy by pronouncing its name. The toys were positioned out of the owner's view to control for a clever hands effect. We did not find a significant difference between the performance of the puppies and the adults, so we grouped the results together. Oliva, an adult female from the Naive Dogs group, performed significantly different than the others. In the first month test, with two toys, she always selected the correct toy, so her results were calculated separately. The overall performance of the Naive Dogs was never significantly above chance. However, the word knowledgeable dogs did perform significantly above chance. During the three months of the experiment, the dogs from the word knowledgeable group all learned between 11 to 37 new toys. Oliva, the talented naive female which started the experiments with no previous knowledge of toy names, learned the names of 19 new toys in two months. Unfortunately, Oliva was very sick and passed away after the second month test. Our results indicate that there may be qualitative rather than quantitative differences in the ability of dogs to learn object names and that this ability may not emerge due to early exposure or be affected by previous knowledge of object names. We started this journey with the hope to better understand how dogs learn object names, but found that this ability is present in only a few gifted dogs. These word learner dogs give us a unique opportunity to study the manifestation of exceptional skills in a non-human species. We suggest that our findings pave the way for future studies to use dogs as a model species for examining the origin of variation in human cognitive performance.